Hello and welcome to Yomi. I'm Father Vulture and I... I want to show you this really, really cool game. If you like fighting games, you're definitely going to love Yomi. So, uh, Yomi is a sort of thing that happens inside of fighting games where it's like a next level after reading your opponent. There's, um, there's reading your opponent, of course, where you, like, someone hits you, someone, like, tries to punch you or whatever, you're obviously going to block or dodge because you see them punching. Yomi is deeper than that. Yomi is where you feel that your opponent is going to do a certain thing. Let me turn this a little bit. There we go. Yes, effects are great. But, um, Yomi is where you literally have, like, future vision about what your opponent's going to do. Not from any prior knowledge about your opponent, but, like, it's a gut feeling of what's going to happen. So this is the game about that mechanic. Now, uh, I personally use this game whenever I feel like I'm not doing especially well inside of fighting games or whatever. I use this game in order to try and get better at it, because Yomi is a game that works like rock, paper, scissors, right? I'll, I'll put up the tutorial also when, when I start up. So, it's a game like rock, paper, scissors, right? So, there's blocking and dodging, which you do in order to evade or block attacks, which gives you priority. There's throws, which beat blocks and dodges, and then there's uh, attacks, of course, which beat throws. Um, I'll go for the basics, so I can show you guys how it works. Welcome to Yomi, the fighting card game. Yomi simulates a fighting game where you try to reduce your opponent's life to zero through various moves, attack, block, dodge, and throw your way to victory. These are the cards in your hand. You can zoom in on any card by mousing over it. You can also hold the left mouse button. Uh, for a second to zoom in on the card. Zoom in on the card you have, ugh, in your hand now. Left mouse button. Oh, there we go. That wasn't the left mouse button, but okay. So, this is... Yeah, each Yomi card has two different sides. It's like a... It's, it's like sort of like figuring out, like a guessing game, in a way. Which fits really, really well with the, um, with the... Solitaire, I, I don't know what these are called, poker card game, poker card, uh, aesthetic that this game has. Uh, each of them have two sides, of course. So here it is, yeah. So, obviously, if you block or dodge, you'll be able to beat your opponent right afterwards, because, like, if they attack you while you're blocking or dodging, you can get behind them, or you can just parry them. Uh, throws, obviously, you grab your opponent while they're blocking too much, because they're obviously going to do something stupid like that. Uh, then you get priority and you can beat them up. And then attacks. If you try to throw and you misread your opponent or you miss Yomi your opponent, then you can attack. And... or they can attack and then you're just screwed. Attacks be throws, yeah. So when you block an attack, you get to draw a card. And you get to keep your block card too. Alright, so I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna play it as a block. Yeah. So my block wins, I draw a card. There we go. Uh, blocking does no damage, but it's a useful way to get more cards while avoiding attack damage. You can always keep your block card unless you get thrown. Blocks are the only type of move you can keep this way. I like a defensive playstyle. Ah yes, there's also like different cards with like uh, little effects on them and stuff like that. There's also a combo meter and stuff like that. Uh, the tutorial will probably explain it. So, I play this as a dodge, then of course he's going to throw for a really really big attack, he's going to be left open, and now I can continue the combo with a combo starter or a chain or anything like that. That's the basics of the game. Um, some cards have like effects where they still deal damage, it's like chip damage after blocking or whatever. Um, yeah. He tries to throw, I punch him, obviously. Cool. Then I can continue my combo because of this little thing right here. So this here lets you know how many combos are maximum possible for this character. Like, there's some characters where they just keep on canceling into combos over and over and over again. The most amount of times that you're able to go into a full combo for each character is limited to this number that they have here. So, the character I'm using right now, Gianna, her combo maximum is 
five, and I just keep on going through with the combo over and over again. You can't go through the combo infinitely, because uh, you can't just like keep on punching and punching and punching over again. That doesn't that isn't how a combo works. Uh, you have to mix together different moves in order to chain and link together to make like a really really sick combo and then I'll end it with this simple combo just go through that and boom and this is your HP inside the game you start out each player starts out with like their own HP their own abilities or whatever they have max combo their ability and then here is it's actually like a fighting game so it actually has all of their normal attack speeds their frame rates everything like that um, and then it lets you know what their like special abilities are and stuff like that. It's really good. It's such a fun game. Uh, if you ever want to get better at like fighting games, or if you ever want to like understand Yomi or figure out more stuff about just like how to play fighting games a bit better, Yomi is a perfect starter. Just a perfect way in order to work on it. So yeah, my throw beats his blocks and I can continue into a combo. And then I ended it with that. And the best part about these cards is that they kind of look like what they're going to do. So like, if you flip her over, it looks like she's blocking from, like she's blocking a, a high attack or something like that. Alright, so that is how Yomi works. I'm going to skip ahead in order to... Uh, in order to show you like how the game works after the tu tutorial and everything. All right, so I'm back. I'm gonna show you what it's like in order to play against an AI or a quick match. I think I'll go for a quick match. I'm not quite sure anyone really plays it that much, which is why I want more people to play this game. It's really cool. It's really really cool. So the person I use, really really easy to play. Uh, any of these top four guys are easy to play. She's extremely easy. Diana's amazing easy. Satsuki is busted. She her combos. As you can see, Satsuki's combos go. God, bloody. As you can see, her combos go on forever. He's broken, Master Mel Menel Mah Menelker. He uh, does what's the name? He's basically a Kuma of the game. So I like to play as D Gray. And we'll see if anyone will show up. Alright, so I'm in a game with the robot because uh, apparently no one plays this game. Does anyone. Does anybody really know what time it is? Geiger. He's a time based guy. So I'm gonna start the fight. But I'm gonna start the fight pretty defensive. Oh, or I could go straight into offense. I'm gonna go for defensive. Uh, no one really starts. At, yeah, uh, we both just back away from each other. Sure. All right, then I'm not gonna power up. So in the game, there's a there's a mechanism called powering up. You take as many uh, two of a kind or three of a kind or four of a kind from your hand, and you get that many aces minus one. So if you drop down a four of a kind, then you get three aces to your hand. And aces are like ultimates. They're like a four uh, bar attacks, five bar attacks or something. Uh. And here he comes on the offensive. Immediately shoots out his five bar attack. So now, I'm going to get rid of these two, and I'm going to get one ace. Sweet. I'll pass. Alright, now check this out. I am going to use Ghost Repulsive. Damn it. Well, looks like I miscalled that. Here he goes, going for his friggin'... Oh, he's really spamming his ultimate. He's really grinding for his ultimate right now. But let's see if I can trick him in order to uh, get into my trap. The way D. Gray's ultimate works is that you have to either dodge and then you sort of counter your opponent or you sort of uh, trick your opponent in order to attack you. And while they're open and in that big pose and everything, I can hit back with a crazy amount of stuff. So I'll do a throw for a starter. Because a starter is like starts up a combo, you can continue after that. Then I'm going to do a spectral push. That's another one. 
and then finally a Daggerfall Thrust. That's everything. Now, but what he was doing when he was playing that card down is that he was trying to see if I would believe he had a Joker. Jokers are cards that are, uh, what's it called? They are... In Persona, they have it. In Persona the Fighting Game, they have these, uh, sort of things where you just, uh, it's like a guard break where you just explode with energy if anyone's, like, beating on you really, really hard with a sick combo and you can't handle their skills. You just use that. Simple. Sometimes you have a Joker and it actually works, other times it doesn't, but yeah. So I deal the chip damage. And now I can get rid of these and get one more ace. He's gonna go for his okay, he's gonna go for his ultimate again. Pass. Alright. Uh Time Spiral Zero. I missed that entirely. Alright, so I think he's going to attack. He threw me! No! Wait! No, I don't have anything for that. Damn. Okay. And then he links his ultimate to it. Balls! That's so good! Alright, I'm not gonna power up. I'm good. Alright, next I'm just gonna try to throw on him. He's gonna throw me, I'll throw you. Hmm. Get some ultimate final arbiter in here. And then boom! Yomi's a pretty fun game. I'll probably like have another video where I try to use what I learned from Yomi in order to uh, play in a fighting game. Like see if those uh, so I can show like how it probably maybe works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work because like your mind isn't really thinking about that stuff. Combo root? No, I'm not gonna use that skill. So I flip this over. Starter. I guess that's it. Also, I'm not very, uh... Choose attack, block, throw, or dodge. I think he's gonna dodge. Oh, crap, flip throw. Oh, whatever. Watch you throw. If you don't throw, you're dead. He, he attacked. I never expected this. Nah, I pass. So this is Yomi. It's really fun. Ah! Throws. Jesus. Now he's using Yomi on me. So this is what Yomi is like. It's like sort of outguessing your opponent. Because you can't tell what they're thinking. You can never tell what they're thinking. The best you can do is just uh, beat them up. best as you can. But with Yomi, aha, you'll be able to beat him up in creative ways. They'll think that you're some kind of psychic genius, when actually you're just, uh, you're just, uh, a psychic genius. Yeah. Um, I think I'll end the video after this round. After this match, after this game here. So, Spectral Pull! Tenderizer! Burning Inferno! He's gonna use an attack. Pass. Please, use an attack. Uh I win? Oh. Man. That's embarrassing. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go for a block, because I need cards in my hand, and blocking is the best way to get cards in your hand. He has one card in his hand too, as you can see from over here. I'll pass. Aw, yeah, let's go. Alright, block. I just, I'm greedy. Okay, he's greedy too. Next time, next time, I'm gonna definitely uh, grab this dude. Boom, grab. Get him. Where are you at? Where are you at? Wombo combo. And that's it. 
Oh, I got a booster pack! There's also, like, uh, booster packs in the game. So you can, like, open them up. Where's my card collection here? No. Here we go. Down here. Booster packs. Uh, open card pack. What happens? Here we go. And... Boom. You don't get really anything new, but you get a chance at getting really, really shiny cards. That's it. And having really, really shiny cards, it feels good. It feels good being, like, that cool guy with all those super rare cards. So yes, this is Yomi. It's really, really good. Super cheap. It's like, what, $8, $10 on Steam? I'll try and show what I can about Yomi, but this game... This game's top-notch. Well, that's the end of the video, so, uh... I guess I'll, I'll see you guys later. Squawk!